Now let us learn how to simplify fractions to lowest terms. Lowest terms means that you can't simplify them any further, right? That is what it means. So let's start with the very first one, which is 2 over 4. Here I have 10 of them. Once you get the technique, I will appreciate that you can pause the video, solve or simplify these fractions, and then check your answer. Okay? Now let me do all of them one by one for you. 2 over 4. Both are even numbers, and so I can divide both by 2. If I divide both by 2, what do I get? 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I get 1 over 2. So 2 over 4 can be written as 1 over 2. That is how you simplify your fractions. 2 over 4 is with bigger numbers than 1 over 2, but it remains and it means the same thing. They are equivalent fractions. So in this process of simplifying fractions, we are trying to find equivalent fractions, which are with lower numbers. This is the whole idea, right? Let me do the next one, which is 6 out of 12. As you know, 12 is twice 6, right? 6 is half of 12. So I can just divide both by 6. I say 6 goes in 6 by 1 time. 6 times 2 is 12. And I can write as 1 over 2. So this is another way of doing the same thing. So you could divide like this or you could strike them and write. Quotient there, okay? That is how you can do. Now let's do the next one using this technique where I will divide and write my answer right there. So 12 over 30. So can you suggest what number to start with? It should be 2. Both are even, right? 12 divided by 2 is how much? 6. How about 30 divided by 2? Half of 30, that is 15. Okay. Now, can you suggest a number which can divide into 6 and 15? Both of them. The number is 3. So 3 goes 2 times with 6 and 5 times 3 is 15. So we get 2 over 5 and therefore I can write this as 2 over 5. So 2 over 5 is equivalent to 12 over 30. Can you further reduce it? No, you can't. So that is the lowest term. I hope you understand the concept now. Let's do the next one. 14 divided by 21. Some students prefer writing like this. Both can be divided by 7. Yes, you are right. So if you divide by 7, what do you get? 14 divided by 7 is 2. And 21 divided by 7 is 3. So the answer is 2 over 3. Correct? Now let's do 8 over 10. You can divide both by 2. So let's divide them by 2. If you divide by 2, you get 8 divided by 2 as 4. And 10 divided by 2 as 5. And you can straight away write your answer. So these are different ways of dividing and simplifying and writing the fractions in the lowest terms. I hope you got the concept and at this stage all of you can pause and do these questions on your own. Correct? And then look into my solution. This time I'll do slightly faster than what I did earlier and I'll use this technique. Okay? 8 over 12. Both can be divided by 4. 4 times 2 is 8 and 4 times 3 is 12 and so I can write this as equals to 2 over 3. How about 18 over 24? 6 is my magic number. 6 times 3 is 18 and 6 times 4 is 24. So I can write this as 3 over 4. How about 9 over 27? 9 is 3 times. 9 3 times is 27. So we'll divide by 9. So we get 9 divided by 9 is 1, 9 divided by 3 is 27. So my answer is 1 over 3. Okay, how about this one? 30 over 36. Let me first divide by 3 and then see. Divide by 3, I get 10. Divide by 3, 3 goes 1 times and then 2 times. So divide by 3, we get 12, right? So 10 and 12. Can you simplify them further? Both are even. Let's divide by 2. 
5 and 6. So our answer is 5 over 6. How about 20 divided by 25? I can divide both by 5. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 5 is 25. And therefore, this is equal to 4 over 5. So that is how you can multiply, divide, simplify. So that is how you can simplify your fractions to lowest terms. I hope you understand it. Now what you can do is, you can do and try some on your own. Here are a few for you. Let's say we write a fraction 18 divided by 24. And then we can write 30 divided by, in this case, let me write 60. And the then some more, 15 over 45, right? And then let me give you one as 8 divided by, let us say 30, okay? And how about 16 divided by 32? Simplify them and check your answers, right? How can you check your answer? Use calculator, then you will get some answers in decimals. Check it out. If you get the same answer, you are right, okay? Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this process of simplifying fractions to lowest terms. Now simplify It is very important to understand how to simplify fractions to lowest terms since most of the answers should be simplified in the lowest terms and then return, right? So when you add fractions or multiply or subtract fractions, you are required to simplify them and then write down your answer. Remember that, okay? So practice this and then move ahead with multiplication and addition of fractions. Thank you and all the best.